So today's talk is on Vitesse, RV Fastshade by Mia Keelan and Florent. Um, a bit of a background on Vitesse. Vitesse is a database solution for deploying, scaling, and managing large clusters of open source database instances. Vitesse is based on MySQL slash MariaDB. It's massively scalable. It is a CNCF graduated project. Um, Vitesse runs both on public and private infrastructure and works very well with dedicated hardware. Um, Vitesse has over 24,000 commits. It's being used widely by companies like YouTube, Slack, JD.com, GitHub, and Pinterest, and is pretty popular among the DBAs for horizontally scaling MySQL databases. And I'd like to give it over to Florent to talk more about today's talk. Great, thank you. Yes, um, just like you said, uh, it is being widely used more and more in bigger and bigger systems, but this comes down to two problems. Um, we have to ensure that Vitesse's code base is reliable, um, and also it has a good performance. This is the two big attribute that we want. So how do we ensure reliability? Well, we have test, unit test end-to-end -end test. Um, everything goes through um, CICD, pipelines, and etc. We have our performances. Well, we have benchmarks, and today we're going to cover how to benchmark a big project, just like Vitas. We come up with five pillars on how to benchmark an open source project such as Vitas. First, we want it to be easy. Uh, we want to foster a culture of benchmarking. We want to encourage people to do more and more benchmarks. Secondly, we also want it to be automated, just like unit test. Uh, we want to avoid human error. We want to spend more time on important things and so on. Then we also want it to be reliable. Uh, you know, benchmarks result is not a Boolean. Uh, it's not like unit test pass or failed. Uh, everything is measured in nanoseconds, so it has to be reliable. Then, we also want it to be reproducible. We want to resolve, I mean, we want to allow engineers to debug a benchmark if there's an issue or a spike in performance. We also want it to be observable. Um, you know, we want to see results, we want to see reports, we want them to be accessible by anyone in the community. So, how did we achieve that? Well, we've created Arifast yet. It is an automated benchmarking monitoring tool for Vitesse. Uh, it is open sourced, of course, and version number two is being developed in Golang at the moment. Um, we execute different types of benchmark in um, Arifast yet. We have macro benchmarks and micro benchmarks. The first one, uh, we have OLTP and TPCC, which are two different types of macro benchmarks that are widely used. The, this type of, of benchmarks, macro benchmark, uh, usually run between 30 and 60 minutes, um, just like end-to-end -end test almost. Um, and for that reason, we execute them only after merge or master or after release or before. Um, secondly, we also have micro benchmark. Um, Vitesse's code base is coded in Golang, so for that reason, we we execute micro benchmark with Go test bench. Uh, it focuses on a single function, very tiny piece of code. Uh, it is very it is short, running between one and ten minutes, and this is why we execute them after every commit. Then, how to execute uh, these two types of benchmarks with RFS yet? Well, RFS yet has a CLI, so we can execute, you know, benchmark individually through the CLI, or we execution is being triggered by commits PR from Vitesse's code base, and from there we use a configuration file where every single attribute of the benchmark is defined and declared. Um, this enhances the reproducibility of our benchmarks. We just have to copy the configuration file to someone else's laptop and we can execute the same test. Once we have that, the configuration file, we execute Terraform inside our FastGet again uh, to provision the infrastructure uh, which relies on Equinix uh, that provides us with bare metal server. Um, bare metal server is a good way to improve reliability we you know we have the same hardware specs um, this is a good a good way 
Um, then we apply some configuration with Ansible. We want to configure the, the, the hardware that we've provisioned. And then we execute the benchmark, uh, either micro benchmark, macro benchmark. Anyway, we execute it. And then we get the results. We save them in MySQL database. And then we send the results in a Slack channel and we broadcast them to our website, uh, rendering graphs and, and etc. Talking about this, uh, sharing and observing, uh, I've talked about the Slack and the website. Um, well, we also have a third way of, uh, of doing so, of sharing and observing, which is uh, through GitHub status. We want to validate or invalidate uh, Vitesse's PR and commits based on those results. This is still in progress, but we hope to get that merge soon. Um, now, Akilan is going to talk to you about the different dashboards that we have in the web UI. Uh, so the major dashboards we have is the micro benchmarks dashboard. Um, as you can see here with the comment hash 925 and so on and so on, we compare this micro benchmark run against uh, Vitesse 9. And as you can see, uh, we have different different metrics and different color coded to show the difference if it's an improvement or, or it's a warning. And if you click on the blue links, it actually points to the benchmark, the code itself on the official Vitesse repository. Um, we also have is the QPS, um, which is the queries per second. Um, these are the results we actually get from Sysbench. And we and this, as Florent mentioned previously, we run this off every merge. And these are the merges for the past 30 days, which occurred in the Vitesse master um, repository. And yep, we have, and these are the following metrics which we get from Sysbench. And we have two major runs, as Ron mentioned, OLTP and TPCC runs, and both get the following metrics. And also we get transactions per second for OLTP and TPCC. And this is exactly same as I mentioned in the previous slide. I'd like to give it over to Florian for the conclusion of today's talk. Great, thank you. So let, let's go back to our five pillars that, 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 we, that we saw before. Um, we say easy. Well, Arifast yet makes benchmarking easy because you know we have CLI comments. Everything is uh, executed by a CLI or uh, commits and PR. Additionally, it is very easy to add micro benchmark and, and micro benchmark because we have a, a very centralized configuration file. It is also automated, uh, just like we saw. We have Terraform and Ansible configuration. Everything is executed after a commit uh, using GitHub webhook or a release. It is also reliable. Uh, we have Bermudal server uh, using Equinix. Um, and we also have hist an history of all the previous benchmarks results uh, stored in the MySQL database. Uh, that way we can aggregate the results and uh, provide a more reliable result. Um, it is also reproducible. Uh, just like I, just like I said, we have a centralized configuration file. Just copy it to someone else's laptop and execute it. And finally, it is observable. Just like Aklin showed us, we have web UIs, dashboards, and we send Slack messages and GitHub status commit, and etc. This is the URL of the project on GitHub. Uh, don't hesitate to go check it out. And uh, thank you.